everybody? All right, I got a great video for today. It's not a complete review of these brand new True 12.2 The Fave set, but I got the chance to demo it in today's game. So I'm really excited because I've never tried anything True or anything, well, technically my old pads were designed by The Fave. And when I say old pads, I mean the pads that I'll be wearing once I get these pads back. The one thing that I'm very interested in is the whole no strap situation back here. Obviously there's straps, but they're 100% Velcro. I've never had that. And specifically, I've never had something like this channel holding my leg in like against the pad. So I tried it on at home without my knee guards and it felt a little loose even at the tightest setting. So I'm hoping that it's not that loose on the ice, but I guess we'll see what happens. Um, the only thing about today's game is we are playing a team that two weeks ago we played a team that beat us, I think it was 9-2. The team we're playing today beat that team 5-4. So it's an interesting day to try these pads, but I can never turn up the opportunity to try out new gear. So that's what I'm doing in today's video. So hopefully these work out well. Um, I think I look like a Christmas tree with the green on the sweater and the red, white, and black, but uh, what do you guys think of the set? Does it look good? I think it's pretty good. This is what I look like in my set and my stance. So let's see how it works out. So supposedly this team is a B team and we are in a D division, but during the summer they kind of mix everybody together. So either they are going to be really good or they're going to be good and we're just going to have to work hard to win. Hit that like button, wish me luck, and uh, let's win the game. So one thing I noticed about the glove and the warm-up, like everything that went into it stayed into it. So I don't know if that has to do with the laces or just the way that it's built. So the pads definitely have a little bit more of a bounce to them on those rebound. Like I usually saw it and it would have landed in front, but it bounced out a little further. So that's good, but it only works if it's a hard shot. So on that goal there, I just went down too fast. I bit on his um, kind of a deke. I don't even know if he deked but I definitely went down way too early. Thought I can get over fast enough, but I didn't. Enough, but I didn't. So on that last goal there, the reason it went in is because when I slid over, I didn't pull in my right leg. And that's why it actually went five hole, hit my skate and went in. So when you make your slide, you wanna actually pull in that opposite leg so that you cover the middle. You good? You good? Oh, that's, that was quick. So on that second goal, when you go over, you want to bring this leg, your opposite leg that you push with, in so that you don't let that five hole be open for too long. Oh. Oh. That's all good, it's all good. Woo! Good job, boys. Let's go, keep it up, keep it up, let's go. Let's shoot a couple more, keep it up, keep it up. All right, first period review of the Lefebvre set, true set. So far, so good. 
Um, I'm not feeling anything too different from my old set. They're definitely a little stiffer. Um, and also, I, the straps I thought were going to be an issue, but they're not. I like them, so I think I just got to get used to how I slide in them. Because I think they do slide slightly better than my set. So on that one there, he was being patient and I wasn't shuffling with the stick or with the puck I should say. I was focused on shuffling with his body and because he's a left shooter, his stick is obviously over by like a foot or so, which put me out of position. So you just got to make sure when you're shuffling and staying square to the puck, not the shooter. And I think realistically if maybe I got a lean in there too, I would have had a better shot at stopping that puck there. Get control, get control. All right, so on that goal there, everything comes down to your energy levels and conserving that energy throughout the game. That there, I got out and I was down and I was just too exhausted to get over. Uh, I should have been a little bit more patient and got back. But when your energy is low because your skating's not great, uh, you're not gonna be able to make every save when you can if you just had higher energy. I was literally just, I was literally about to say how you talk about skating and energy. That was one when I was dead. I couldn't. But you're my coach. How do you like the gear? <laughs> All right, so. Nick was saying, uh, I need a poke check or something when they're moving that slow. Because when they're moving slow and they have all the time like that, it's a lot easier for them to deke than it is for you to move. So if you go to poke check, you can hopefully mess up their deke. Oh. All right, so on that one there, I went for the poke check. The issue with the poke check when the when the shooter is actually left-handed is that their forehand is on your blocker side. So the moment you go for the block check, uh, the poke check, they could throw it up over your blocker just like that. I'm gonna play. Oh. On that goal there, I didn't watch, follow the puck. I just kind of reached out, put my hand back. Got to keep my hand forward in front of my face or my peripheral so I could watch and track the puck into the glove rather than just kind of putting my hands up and hoping I stop it.
Good game, man. Good game, Sam. Good game. Good game, boys. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. All right, definitely not the game I wanted, but it's a good team. They got lots of good opportunities. A couple of squeakers, which I should have had, but ultimately we only got two goals. Not gonna beat a team with two goals like this, so. Anyways, if you like that video, like the pads, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my last game next week.